Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, I was thinking about doing an unboxing, but everybody's seen an unboxing before, so I figured I would just do a short video on what comes in the package for the Win Wing ICP F16. And something I noticed right off the bat is this ICP is not for the same one that is in the game in DCS. In DCS, it's the F-16 Block 50. This ICP is made for the newer F-16s. Well, I don't know about newer, but the more updated F-16 Block 60, 70, and 72. So, I get what they did because of the little display, which is an all old school to get the original look. It's basically the old dot pitch type lettering in there so every, every every word is like spelt out in the little little dots like even well actually the f-18 has kind of the same idea but what i want to do is just give a quick run through of what comes in the box and you know putting it together is really really like you almost don't even need instructions so let's move this around to the side and i'll show you exactly how it needs to be put together if you're going to mount it in this manner okay so what comes in the package is you're going to get a couple of bags of different size screws. They look like 35 millimeter long, 40 millimeter, and 45 millimeter. There's going to be a few spaces, washers, lock washers, a couple of Allen uh, keys, and a small wrench. You're also going to get some screws. These are all 6 millimeter in size screws as well. A couple of them are going to have kind of like a wing nut plastic handle attached to them which you use on the upper part in the back right here between the f-18 and this metal bracket there is a spacer and like i said this is really really pretty simple stuff you're going to get some small one inch by one inch rubber pads that go on the bottom of this you always you're going to put the wide part to the bottom of this it's a standard bracket that comes with all of these so you're going to put the wider part to the bottom and you're going to put the rubber bumper because that's what's going to tap up against the 18 thing it just rests on it and also you can see inside of here is some it's it's kind of funny because looking at this and this you can see like even years ago a few years back when when we made the f-18 top gun setup you can tell that they already thought about the future as far as like mounting things because the holes were all there and ready to be lined up on the side you're going to see some openings where you can slide some nuts in those nuts will fit the m6 basically m6 is like six millimeter screws so you push them in there slide the screw through tighten it down and bingo that's what you got anyway the easiest way i found to get this mounted on here there's a USB-C in the back of this where you will plug it in and there's also places where you can clip the cable in so it doesn't go all over the place they recommend the cable coming out of the bottom so that's the way I did it but I think there's probably you could do it any way you wanted to do it okay so we're gonna move the camera to the side the other side so I can show you how it flips up well actually even from this side you can see how it flips up just got to keep an eye on the cable so it just goes up and over and you want to make sure you have enough space where it can go over and not hit up against your monitor or TV or whatever you're using. And there you go, you have your F-16. This is where the pads will fall, right on top of this little part of the um, Top Gun setup. You can see right here the rubber pads and right down inside, let's get a closer look. So you can see right inside where the cable is mounted, loop through and I also put another little one of those little clips in there to hold the cable in place so as you can see from the front everything lights up it's well lit all of the wheels on here the the knobs very nice the switches all quality i'm sure you can hear that from here the, this switch right here the drift and reset when you go down it's spring loaded it pops back up up it'll stay in place this one is three-way the knobs got a little I'm sorry the rockers and buttons have a little very little bit of click to them but they're not too mushy but you literally you can't hear it and it's to me it's no big deal <clears throat> the return sequence and selection button 
It is made by Winwing. It has a nice clear display. Everything's easy to read. And I actually messed around with it a little bit earlier, as well as last night. And it works great. Very snappy, no lag whatsoever. So the, the latency is minimal. You have the system knob, a brightness knob. As you can see, everything moves nice and smooth. You have your COM1, COM2, IFF, your list, your AA, and your AG. And it's got everything needed. Once again, I'll show it. You can flip it up. I'll keep, yeah. Be careful with it. You can see how it flips right over. These stay right in place. No movement. I'll do another part of the video on how I set things up, but basically everything is simple. It's in the SimApp Pro program. There's really nothing that you have to do, but do the firmware update. And from there, if you know how to use all of the buttons and knobs on this, once you get in the F16, basically you just set it up the way you want. You want to set up your list. You want to set up your flares, whatever it may be. So I just wanted to give a quick little run through on what comes with this. If you decide that you're going to get this and not use it with the Top Gun setup, that's fine. Because these right here, these mounts, they can be mounted alone to a table. Um, they could be mounted to a different type of aluminum cross mount like I use. Or you can sit it right on a table so you can put it down in front of you on a table so it sits kind of like that. So yeah, I really like it. I'm, I'm psyched to use it. It just makes things a lot easier to be able to reach out. And sometimes when you're flying the plane, I find it's hard to use the mouse to click buttons, especially if you're looking around and your hands are going. And yeah, it can, it can be a little bit difficult. Anyways, we'll take a look at the SIMAP Pro program later. And we're also going to look at how to calibrate the MF SSB base, the wing wing base for the F-16. And we'll get on to that in the next video. But this one, like I said, I just wanted to keep it short and give everybody a look at this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.